originated neighborhood, has green belts between the homes, so lots of green urban space, fabulous architecture, some very cool families live there. My house was built by Henry S. Miller, he and Juanita Miller started the opera, big civic leaders, so it's got lots of provenance and history. Uh, fun urban environment, five minutes from downtown, uh, just a fabulous community. Only 290 houses, so it's kind of small, but um, it lives large, so it's a uh, great pocket at Toll Road and Mockingbird, and then bound by Inwood and University over in North Dallas, so uh, come and check it out. We've got public parks, you can bring your dog, uh, it's lovely, fabulous neighborhood. So uh, could you tell us a little bit more about sort of the type of community that ex exists there, the like relationships between between folks who live who live in Greenway Park? Yeah. It's, a, it's a really interesting mix because you have people that literally have lived there almost their whole entire life and lived there 40, 50 years. And then you have people that just moved in a, you know, a month ago. In fact, this past week, we had a new neighbor party at one of our neighbor's houses and there was about 150 neighbors there welcoming the new neighbors. So it's a very neighborly neighborhood, which sometimes you don't find that very often. Um, but there's a great sense of community. We do lots of uh, parties um, out in the Green Belt, sometimes in people's homes. Uh, we all look out for each other. And uh, so you've got old, young, new, um, new homes, old homes. It's a really eclectic, fun mix. So. Could you, could you tell us a little bit more about the uh, the green belts that run between homes in yeah. Greenway Park? Uh, the neighborhood was flooded in the mid-1920s by David Williams, a very famous architect, and it was based off the English Commons layout where there's green belt between the houses. So there is um, a lot of acreage in the neighborhood where literally it's a public park that's between the homes. So if you walk out your back door, you'll walk out to a gorgeous green belt Grass, gorgeous trees. Uh, a lot of them are crepe myrtles and just lovely, lovely uh, plants. Um, a lot of them have been around since the neighborhood was designed in the 20s, so some of these trees are almost 90 years old. And uh, it's a really neat concept. There's nothing like it in Dallas at all. So it's kind of known for that. Hence Greenway Park is the name. So. Could you? Uh... Could you tell us about maybe a few of your other favorite neighborhoods in Dallas and why? What do you think makes those neighborhoods great? I'm sorry, what? I said, we know you, we know you love Greenway Parks. Yeah. Would you give us? Uh, would you mind telling us what um, a few of your other favorite neighborhoods oh. in Dallas are and, and why, why you like them? I'm a native, so I am totally biased. There are so many great neighborhoods in Dallas, um, and I'm in residential real estate, so I'm in neighborhoods all the time. I love Lakewood, great architecture, close to the lake. I love M Street, largest collection of Tudor homes actually in the country. Um, I think Turtle Creek is absolutely amazing. George Kessler had that gorgeous plan of the boulevard, and you've got, of course, the creek there and Lee Park. Uh, I love kind of the exciting things going on in Uptown. Uh, I love the Arts District. I think that's really going to make it more of a pedestrian-friendly downtown-uptown connection. Uh, I think some of the areas of Preston Hollow are absolutely phenomenal. Um, Dallas has got a lot going on, I'll tell you. I think it's a very, very cool city. I'm a native. I moved around all over the country, and I came back and I'm thrilled. I think Dallas has gone through a huge renaissance in the last 10 years. So it's, uh, it's a fun place to be and a great, great city.